Hi guys, this is Mary here, and this is my pre-run sequence from the Yoga for Runners series. So before you get your shoes on, you can take a run outside in this beautiful weather. Take a moment to step onto your mat and open up, activate, get ready for that great run that you're about to have. So I'm going to have you guys start. You can start at the top of your mat. Feet are just going to be hip distance apart, knees soft. Let's take a second here to circle the weight around on the feet. It feels nice with the shoes off to really feel the spreading of the feet on the floor. And just switch it the other direction. Spread your toes. And just allow the weight to settle right in the centers of your feet. As you inhale, reach your arms up. Grab onto your left wrist, stretch it really high. As you exhale, stretch all the way over to the right. Send your hips to the left, reach a little higher and open up the chest. Three breaths. Full breaths, opening everything up. One more. Bring it up through the center. Switch wrists. Inhale, stretch really tall. Exhale, stretch over to the left. Shift your hips right. Open up your chest and breathe as deep as you can three times. Once more, go a little further. Inhale, come back through the center. Exhale, soften your knees, and you're going to fold all the way forward. Take a moment with your knees really soft. Drop your head. Shake your head out. Yes. Shake your head out. No. And take a huge breath in through the nose. Open your mouth as you exhale and just drop really heavy. Bring your hands onto your shins. Press your chest forward so you're lengthening to a flat back. And you feel the backs of the legs start to stretch out a little bit more. Soften your knees, bring your hands down, and step your left foot back as far as you can behind you. Take a moment here to start to rock the weight forward and back. So you're stretching back through that back heel. As much as you can, keep the spine long here. If you have blocks, it can sometimes be helpful just to place your hands on the block. That helps to avoid the rounding of the spine. And plant your hands and step all the way back to a downward dog. Keep your knees soft, keep your spine long. And just go ahead and bring your knees all the way down onto the mat for all fours. Start to move through cat cow. As you inhale, drop your belly, lift your chest. Exhale, lift your belly round. Inhale into cow. Exhale, round into cat. Twice more. Once more. Come back to the center, long spine. You're going to keep your left hand onto the floor and lift your right arm all the way up to the ceiling. Take a big breath in to open. Exhale, reach that arm all the way through, big stretch. Inhale, open it all the way up. Exhale, twist. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Come back to the center, reach that arm straight forward. Stretch your left leg all the way back behind you. Take five breaths. Keep hugging the belly up towards the spine. Two more. And just bring your hand and your knee back down onto the mat. Lift your left arm all the way up. Take a big twist open. Press down through the bottom arm. Roll the chest. Exhale, twist deep. Inhale, lift. Exhale. Once more. And come back to the center. Left arm straight forward, right leg reaches back behind you. As much as you can, keep lifting up the belly. Keep reaching long. Taking five breaths here. We'll take about three more. Bring that hand and that knee back down onto the floor. Tuck your toes under. Lift all the way back up to that downward dog shape. And now right here, just bend your right knee as much as you need. Press your left heel as close to the floor so you feel a big stretch through that entire length of the left leg. Switch sides. 
Press the heel down, keep the arms strong. And then allow both heels to drop towards the floor. Keep your knees soft. As you inhale, roll forward to a plank top of a push-up position. As you exhale, press your hips back, down dog. Inhale, come forward. Exhale. Once more, inhale. And then very gently start to walk your feet up to your hands. Keep the knees soft. Keep the feet hip distance apart. Drop your head. And slowly roll up to stand. Circle the shoulders all the way down. As you inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, fold forward. Lengthen the spine long. And step your right leg back behind you, coming back to that lunge shape. And just rock forward and back. Again, hands can be on blocks here if that's better for you. Hands down, step back to down. Inhale, come forward to a plank. As you exhale, bend your elbows and lower down to the floor, chaturanga. Roll the shoulders back, pressing up into your back. Bend, open your chest. Downward dog, press back. As you inhale, the heels lift. Bend your knees, look forward, and lightly walk or hop your feet to the top of the mat. So lengthen the spine. Exhale, drop. Reach your arms around to come to stand. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Inhale, sitting down, Utkatasana, chair pose. Make sure that the weight is on the heels, not on the toes, and sit as low as you can. Circle the arms behind you. Take a big breath in, open your chest. Keep the arms where they are, fold forward and straighten your legs. And bring your hands down to the floor, lengthen to a flat back. Step your left leg long and back behind you. Drop that heel to the floor, warrior one. See if you can have both hips face straight forward on your mat. Draw the belly in, reach high through the arms, but then low through that front leg. One more breath. As you inhale, bring your hands down to the floor. As you exhale, step all the way back and bend your elbows, chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale, down the up. With your hips square, lift your right leg back behind you. Press that right heel back and make sure the hips are square here so you're not opening up. Keep that hip dropped. Step the leg forward. Gently lift your arms. Find the strength in the legs as you rise up through the fingers. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, step the back foot in. Drop your head and roll up. Inhale, reach around and up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Chair pose, sitting right back down. Weight in the heels, toes are easy. Sit a little bit lower and then lift your chest high. Fold forward. Flat back to lengthen the spine. Step your right leg back behind you really far. Drop the heel, warrior one. So again, the hips are square. That back leg is really strong as the front knee keeps bending forward. Draw your belly in and find a little bit longer spine. One more breath in. Stay for your breath out. Inhale to bring your hands down. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down the dog. With your hips square, lift your left leg back behind you. Now try to press back through that leg as you lift your hips a little higher. Breathe. And step that foot forward. High lunge, lift your arms. Take a breath in to lift. Exhale, back foot steps in, fold over your leg. Reach your arms all the way around. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, raise your arms up. Fly forward as you open. Lengthen the spine, flat back. Plant your hands, step, or you can jump back to that chaturanga position with your elbows bent. Inhale to open your chest. Exhale to press back. We're going to lift our right leg up again. This time, allow the hips to open up as you continue lifting that leg. And then you can bend that knee 
Start to circle out the ankle, spreading out your toes wide. And even though our hips are open, can your shoulders stay square to the floor? Lift that back knee up a little bit higher. Stretch that leg. Step the foot between your hands. High lunge. Back heel is going to stay off the floor as you raise your arms. Bend that back knee. Touch it to the mat. Inhale. Stand all the way up straight. Bend down. Lift. Once more. Bend the front knee and open up warrior two. Hips open wide, arms open long. Reverse warrior, stretch all the way back. Come back to warrior two. Straighten your front leg and turn your toes all the way in. So your feet are parallel, toes are facing in the same direction. Hands on the hips, lift the chest. Fold all the way forward to prasarita. Now keep your spine long here. If that's really hard for you and you feel really rounded, bring blocks or something underneath of your hands so that the spine is parallel to the floor. So you're not going to be hunched. And then just start to shift the weight side to side. Bend one knee at a time. Feeling a nice stretch here in the inner thighs, a lot in the hamstrings as well. You stay where you are. I'm just turning back to face you. And then from here, just walk your hands back to the front of the mat. Turn your toes forward and drop your back knee. I'm going to come into a twisted lizard. Lift your right arm nice and high. And you're going to reach through those right fingers as you reach back behind you. Now you can stay here and just focus on dropping the hips. Or if it's possible for you, go ahead and bend that back knee and hold on to the foot. Taking a huge stretch through that left thigh and hip. One more breath. Release the foot, bring your hand down. Step all the way back behind yourself, downward dog. As you inhale, come forward to plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest. Downward Lift your left leg up as high as you can. Go ahead, roll the hips open and bend that knee. Circle out that left ankle. Big, huge circle, spread the toes wide. Keep pressing your hips back, moving the legs away from each other. And stay strong through the arms. Straighten that leg as long as you can. And step the foot forward between your hands. Gently lift your arms up. Find that strength from the center to raise the arms. Bend your back knee, tap it down. Stand all the way up. Bend down. Once more. Bend your front knee, warrior two, open wide. Reverse warrior, stretch all the way away from that front leg. Come back to warrior two. You'll straighten your front leg and turn your toes in. So you're going to turn sideways so you can see me. Prasarita, again, hands on the hips, lift tall. Stretch forward. Only to that flat back, keep the spine long. As you inhale, bend both knees. Exhale, straighten. Inhale. Exhale. Once more. And then just go ahead and soften over the legs. Keep the knees soft, drop your head. Shoulders easy. And you'll gently make your way back. Left foot forward on the mat, right leg back. Drop that right knee. Coming into that twisted lizard again, your left arm lifts really high. Reach that left arm back behind you and either stay here or bend the back knee and hold on to that foot. As much as you can, drop your hips. As much as you can, roll your chest forward. And then gently release that foot, bring your hands in. Make your way all the way back to downward dog. Inhale, come forward to a plank. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, bend your elbows, lower all the way down to the floor and land. Once you land, just go ahead, flip over onto your backs. Bend your knees here. 
Spread your toes nice and wide. Press your feet into the floor. Lift your hips to the sky. Breathing nice and long here. You're going to take about five breaths. If you would like to lift one leg at a time, the hips are not going to drop. Just lift one leg. Take a couple breaths. And then you'll bring that foot down. Squeeze the hips a little bit higher. Feel the feet pressing down and lift your other leg. And then place both feet onto the floor. Tuck your hips under you and roll all the way down. Plug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. And take your right ankle and cross it over your left knee. So it's like you're making a number four shape with your legs. You're going to reach through, hold onto the bottom leg, and pull it in towards you. And I feel a really nice stretch in that outer right hip for your reclined pigeon pose here. Roll that knee away from you and feel the lower back expanding on the mat. And switch legs. So you'll take the left ankle over the right knee. Reach down again, hold on to the bottom leg, reach around behind it so this arm is going to reach through the middle and pull it in. Roll that left knee away from you nice and wide. Relax the shoulders here. Keep the breath even. And then uncross that leg, hug both knees back in. And just start to rock forward and back, massaging out the spine a little bit. And you can plant your feet, shift the weight forward, drop your head, roll up to stand. And you're off onto your run. Hope that you guys feel really great and have a fantastic run. And I'll see you afterwards for the post-run series.